I've talked to a lot of pedophiles in my career, and when they can't access child porn, do you know what they use? The New York Times did an investigation of child influencers. Have you all seen some pictures or videos on internet uh, that a mom posted a child or a daughter on a page or created a particular page just for the daughter and they keep posting when the child is having a bath, when the child is doing this, doing that, you know, whining her waist and all of that. Just normal child play and everything is nothing so serious. But have you noticed that most of those videos have a lot of saves? A lot of saves. And most of the time, when you watch the comments or when you go ahead to read the comments, you will see that these are pedophiles that are watching these videos. And the mothers or the parents or whoever posts those pictures online, they are comfortable seeing these things. And they don't even stop producing. You know why? Because they are getting money. They're getting paid, so they are using their child all for content sake. I want to share this video for you all to watch to the end. I'm going to roll this clip for you all to watch to the end, then we'll come back and talk about it. I've talked to a lot of pedophiles in my career, and when they can't access child porn, do you know what they use? The New York Times did an investigation of child influencers. You can't have an Instagram account if you're under 13, so parents are running accounts for children. Although it's incredible to use social media to start a savings account for your kids, they can go to college and buy a house and a car, bad things are happening. Companies will send you clothing to put on your kids. If you post your kid in that outfit, you can make $3,000 on one post. Here's the problem. They looked at 5,000 child accounts and 32 million followers were adult men. Meta has disclosed that over 500,000 accounts every day have inappropriate content or interactions. When a parent posts a picture of a child and they appear more sexualized, like in a bathing suit, they get far more likes and comments from adult men. Look at my business account. You can see who's looking at you. Hey beautiful people, I am in today, it's your girl Maya David and I'm back again with another interesting video. What is your take on parents that use their child for content sake and post whatever they want to post on the streets of internet just because they want to get the bag? Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section. Oh, are you a parent and you're doing something like that? Maybe, you know, just with your free mind just to post content. Let us know what you feel about people that watches your content, especially these old men. Because <laughs> most of the time, most of the time, the ones that come to my For You page, when I go to the comment section, I'm like irritated. I'm going to say a lot of saves on innocent child just trying to put on a cloth, just trying to, you know, do something. I feel like there's some things you shouldn't post or probably you, you want to have, you want to like review a body cream or body soap or something and you're having a bad time with your daughter you see a lot of saves a lot of likes a lot of comments you know <laughs> it's alarming anyways let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section i'm going to roll some stitches for you all to watch to the end and i'll be back at the end of all the stitches Five thousand child accounts and 32 million followers were this is exactly why I took my daughter off my social media and people be trying to pressure parents oh why don't you post your child oh this person must not love their child because they don't post them on their social media da 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 da, -da. like did you not just hear what she said and if you didn't 32 million men following 5,000 child accounts. And that's what's been researched. That's what's been recorded. Who knows how much are unknown? Protect your babies. The internet is wicked as fuck. Protect the babies. I have a beautiful baby girl, but you will not see her. You will not. Not on this platform and not any other. Protect the babies.
talked to a lot of pedophiles in my career and when they can't access child porn, do you know what they And this is exactly why I continue to get upset and unfollow people who after they have their kid, they do nothing but post pictures of their kid, turn their whole personal account into their kid's account, not realizing that there is a bunch of fucking weirdos on the internet looking at your kid's shit. It's fucking weird. Stop posting pictures of your kid. I followed you and your account for a reason. And it's not because I wanted to see pictures of your kid 24 seven. I've talked to a lot of pedophiles in my career and when they can't access child porn. That creator goes on to say that basically those pedophiles um, use children's social media accounts, probably most likely run by their parents to get access to children's images as they quote unquote want them or whatever. When I say I knew this was happening and I said that if I was ever, um, if I ever became a mom and as a, as a person who has been an influencer for many years, I would keep my children off of social media because personally I can't handle that thought and I know some people are in an ignorance is bliss type place, but no, it's an absolute no for me. And I know people put their, and it's not a judgment thing because I know people put their kids on social media. I know people's kids are actually making money off of social media. But for me, it's an absolute, it's an absolute positively, positive no. I've talked to a lot of pedophiles in my career and when they can't access child porn, read the article she's talking about the tip of the iceberg what the parents attest to in the article will make your skin crawl will absolutely make your skin crawl what often isn't discussed is the difficulty in the, and then once these images are out there removing them from the internet and at least to me if you have the tech savvy to run this sort of page then you have the understanding that these images are going to last forever you have attached your child's identity to something that could affect the trajectory of their life i really and truly wonder if it's worth it if you see it kind of put your thoughts your comments your opinion your suggestion down in the comment section all opinion accepted in this channel of course if you put them down respectfully what is your take on parents that post their child for content sake and they know in their mind that the kind of people that view the kind of content they post about their child are pedophiles are people that just want to just sexualizing their, their daughters i'm trying to say daughter because most of the time it's old men or men that view all this daughter pose you just see a young girl just behaving like a baby just how cute she is and you see a lot of if you go and read those comments you will weep <laughs> it's so annoying that the mothers that handle those social media accounts are seeing those comments and they are continuing to still post those contents just because they are getting more views they're getting popular and they want to make money off their child I know some of you don't know that I have a daughter, beautiful daughter, and she's three years old. I don't think that I feel comfortable for me personally posting her online because sometimes, joking, just imagine you followed my page, just at one of these stages, you followed my page just for me, and all I do, maybe after I put to bed, all I do is start posting about my child, my child, my child, my child, my child. My child. Of course, some people will feel so uncomfortable, like, I followed you for you. Why do you have to turn your own personal page to your child's page? And some even go as far as opening a new page to, you know, talk about or just post pictures of their child's content. If you ask me personally that, what do you think about people that post their child's pictures or like i don't have a problem with posting like one of few pictures like a cute smile you know a cute video like a cute little walk it's fine but when you start going as far as going to post your child when they're having their bath when they're putting on the diaper when they're pooping like a lot of annoying things that i see and i'm like yay 
you people have mind though because me i can't do it and when i see it sometimes i don't even watch those contents because they don't even they don't bring those contents to me because i don't consume content like that they only bring contents of people complaining because they know that that is what i might do because it doesn't make sense for you to just be posting something like, even if you are posting it from your goodness of your heart from a very you know innocent mind you're just doing it innocently you're doing it innocently if you do that and you start seeing the outcome of the kind of comments that comes from this kind of you know post that you do you should reduce it unless you like the kind of people that watch this content and that is what you want to encourage people to start sexualizing your own daughter which doesn't make sense to me at all and there's another video that i saw a, a mother was forcing a child to make video and the child was literally saying stop it stop it stop it don't make this video of me i don't want to be in your pictures i don't want to be in the video stop it and she still kept on um, videoing that she posted it online for us to still see there's another one i saw the child was pooping and she was like hi oh the guy is pooping like what is wrong with these mothers <laughs> what is the people's problem these are kind of thing that make all these pedophiles come they're attracted to your channel because these are the kind of content you post all you do is post about when your child is having a bath, when your child is trying to, looks like the post we watch, your, your child is trying to wind the waist to where it throws out something, you're posting it. It's innocent, I know, but some people don't see it that way. And if you go to the research, just as the original post was saying, you will see that you don't even need to watch porn anymore. All you need to do is go and check all those pages on TikTok, especially TikTok, and even YouTube. Go and check them and you will just, for those men that are into those kind of thing, it's easy for them. I know it's wrong for old men to be socializing young girl, but then for you to protect your own child, for you to protect your daughter, you should try to, you know, I feel like mothers should try to use their sense when they do something. I'm not saying don't use your child, don't post your child because it's a very beautiful thing to post, you know. People want to see cute baby pictures, people want to see your baby, you know, yeah. But when it has gotten to the stage that is being sexualized, probably the way the child is eating and you are seeing comments of people saying, oh, I wish I can eat, I'll, you know, you should just stop it or just delete it. But no, they keep posting it and it's so annoying, like I don't get it. <laughs> Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. I thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and can you turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified when I upload another interesting video like this one. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.